Hello everyone, it's Primax Plays. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a different video. I am doing top five best cars, uh, first time driver cars. If you're just getting your first car, these are the top five best ones in the UK. So I'm going to start doing more car videos on my channel, uh, change it into less of a gaming channel. Uh, and more cars now because that's more of an interest and more applicable to me okay without a further ado let's get into it coming in at number five is the Skoda Fabia now this can range second hand from 1000 pounds with over a hundred thousand miles this is actually very good because the Skoda Fabia has a massive amount of room for what it is now it is a hatchback so that means it will be plenty of room and it actually won't hurt insurance too much. Uh, for any uh, lads who are looking for a first car, this is the one to go to because you'll be more worried about the BHP, the, uh, the miles per hour and 0 to 60. So the specs are, the BHP varies from 70 to 100, uh, this is the reason why it depends what model you get, you could get the, uh, the GTI model which isn't made anymore but the early 2005 ones are the best ones to get second hand miles per hour is 97 to 120 miles per hour again depending on the model you have it's roughly around 0 to 60 in 11.6 seconds which actually is quite um, all right for a hatchback uh, because it has that 1.2 liter engine uh, which can go up to a 1.5 liter engine it gives it a wee bit more power Here's a tip guys, if you're buying a first car, try to get a under 1.4 litre because it will cost more money over that. Average insurance price for a first time driver is roughly going to be £1,600 to £2,500. Now because anyone lives in Northern Ireland, um, it will be much more expensive than the mainland England. So you just need to be aware of price difference. Uh, somewhere in London would be around about 1600 um, for first time driver maybe cheaper but over here it'll be 2500 so you just have to wait for that price so a very good first car if you're looking for a lot of journeys uh, if you want comfort and you want something that will get you around the place very, uh, surprisingly quickly uh, it's a car for bringing your mates and also uh, long distance traveling it wouldn't be a great car for short-term traveling or for more light duty stuff. It'll be more for he heavy duty and you'll be driving it a lot. Very reliable engine as well, Skoda, so definitely check it out. Number four, Hyundai i10. Now, Hyundai is a bit of a wonky company. Um, I feel like it's the crappier version of Honda. That's all why I look at it. Um, but the i10, surprisingly, has really cheap insurance. So uh, the second hand price can range from at least as 500 pounds, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, second hand with over 90,000 miles. So you can get a i10 for 500 pounds with a roughly over uh, 90,000 miles. So not too bad. The BHP is 77, which actually is quite good uh, for a wee small car that's going to be a 1 liter. 77 is very good. The top mileage on that is going to be 102 miles per hour, which is quite good for a wee car like that. 0 to 16, 12.4 seconds, which is surprising as well. Um, just short of the Fabia at 11.6 seconds, so very good. However, insurance can range from 1700 to 2300 pounds. So over here in Northern Ireland, it will be 2,300 more, uh, but over in the mainland, it range from at most 1,700. So depends where you are, as I said. Uh, great car, uh, not a lot of room because it is a small car, but nifty enough, it'll get you around the place. Insurance is quite cheap on it for first time driver. As, as I said, guys, first time drivers get the worst of the insurance. So. Um, don't be expecting anything around a thousand pounds because you won't be getting it. Um, you'll be getting at least two thousand pounds. It depends what insurance company you go with. Uh, but I'll talk to you about that after the video. Coming in number three is the Skoda Citigo. 
Now, second hand, you can get this for at least 900 pounds with over 120,000 miles. So, the City Go's been quite recent. Uh, you haven't seen much older City Go's. So, you'll get at least 900 pounds, but it will have high mileage and obviously something wrong with it. No one's gonna sell a City Go for 900 pounds and have nothing wrong with it. Um, 2010, I think, was when the models first started. So, that's quite new, only 10 years old. BHP is from 59 to 73. It's varying on the model as well. Uh, there's a GTI model of it, so make sure you're buying the right car. Um, boys out there, if you're looking for a souped up car, like GTI version, it's gonna cost you a bit more insurance. Um, any cars that have five doors, stay away from. Um, except the Fabia, because the Fabia comes stock with five doors. You can get a three door, but any five doors, stay away from them, lads. They have, and gals, they bump up the insurance so much by just adding doors. Uh, top miles per hour on City Go is 100 miles per hour. Again, all right, it gets you around. You don't need to go that fast. Um, but if you want to push your car to that limit, you can. Zero to 16, 13.9 seconds. That's standard. That's 13 seconds and over is the standard zero to 60 in any car. So you're not getting ripped off, but it's actually near 14 seconds, which is quite slow. Um, but because it's quite nimble and really solid at turning, the best thing to do is just go slow and enjoy your ride. The average insurance price is from 1700 to 2350. Um, again, roughly the same as the I-10. Um, it, again, it varies over here in Northern Ireland. It will be around 2350. That's the insurance price I got. And over in mid England, it'll be at, at most 1700. So it really depends where you live. Um, but yeah, great car. Um, it's along the lines of the C8 um, and all those different cars. So definitely uh, check it out. It's probably one of the better cars to go for. Coming at number two is the Volkswagen Polo. Um, before I start the list here, this car is weird. The price range varies depending on what year the model is and how big the engine is. Also, some people might find certain insurance groups favor the Polo and you, and you get cheaper insurance, but other insurance groups like compare the market who try to, well, for my code for a Polo is 2,700 was the cheapest I could get from compare the market. So just try to go to a local insurance company. That's what I did for my car. So second hand, you can get at least 500 pounds with over 90,000 miles. Those are rare to get, but it is possible. Uh, they might have some electrical issues, uh, like if they have automatic windows, they will obviously choke up. Uh, lots of other problems as well, like plastic bumpers, if you get the 2005 version. Uh, BHP is 59, so not a lot, obviously. People love to have polos to soup them up. Uh, if you're in, if you just want a car for a year and then switch it out, um, I wouldn't go with the Polo. Uh, if you get a car of 90,000 miles, just like the Polo, you wouldn't want to switch out in the year. You want to keep it for another two, three years, just like my car. Miles per hour, top mileage is 103 miles per hour, which is all right. Uh, again, it's better than the City Go, but um, just because it might be a bit of a bigger engine, like a 1.2 is the standard. It's hard to get a one liter Polo. So 1.2 is coming probably going to be the, uh, the least you're going to get. It goes zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. So again, standard, it depends what model and what year. Uh, the earlier the year, the less fast it's gonna go. So the later you can get it um, is how more expensive it will be, but more powerful. And the average insurance price, again, um, this one's a bit larger though, depending on where you're from. So uh, mid England, you will get around about 1750. And over here, Northern Ireland, you'll get 2600 is probably the top, like the most you'll get for it. Um, so have a 
look around local insurance groups or Northern Irish based or England based where it, it depends where you are have a look around and see what you get now coming into our honourable mention before number one uh, before I say this guys if you are new please hit the subscribe button that would help a lot also like this video and comment down below uh, if you have any car queries or anything you want me to go over this can be me doing a video on my car showing you how to fix it uh, certain things like that just show me so our coming into our honorable mention is going to be the Fate 500 now lads this isn't a boys car uh, multiple people have said to me mate why don't you get a fa 500 it's uh, fast it's aggressive it sounds like it's a lamborghini um this isn't a lad's car i will not be caught dead in that car so i'll probably try it and i'll probably have a spin on it because it's gonna be wild uh but it's not a, a, a lad's car now you're probably saying to me mate what crap are you talking look at the car go and type up a fa 5 actually i'm gonna put a fa all the cars here We'll have pictures, so this is the Fiat 500. You don't want to be seen in that car unless you have it souped up to a point where your actions talk over their mouths, then that's fine. But second hand, it's gonna be cost you at least two grand, 200,000 pounds with around 80,000 miles because it's hard to get the older models now that the newer models are gonna be a wee bit better, so you'll be paying a lot more money in terms of your first car. Here's a tip, pay more money for your first car. You probably say to me, oh, insurance is gonna scrub me to 2,000 anyway. If you pay more money for your car, you'll get a better car. And also, if you get something that's gonna cost you 500 pounds, you're probably gonna spend 1,500 pounds just fixing it up. So, unless it's a diamond, unless you find a real diamond that's like 80,000 miles, Polo, that's like 500 quid go for it and you think it's gonna be a good but insurance remember guys cheap car expensive insurance expensive car cheap insurance that's the way I look at it you can go and do your tests on yourself put in a VW Polo say you bought it for 500 pounds over here you'll get 2600 for insurance but say you bought a brand say you bought it for three grand you'll get 1900 insurance it's weird but car companies are like that carrying on bhp is 51 to 87 depending on what model you get so the normal standard fade 500 is going to be 51 uh, bhp while the other uh, sti model or uh, gran turismo model gt model is going to be a bit more powerful it's 87 the miles per hour is 93 for the standard and uh, 107 for the souped up version. Uh, not really that fast, but it sounds like it chugs out like a lot. So, 0 to 60 in 9.7 seconds is the souped up model, which is insane for a 1.2 liter. That's a bit metal. And then the standard model is 13.4 seconds, which is more reasonable. Lads, if you're thinking of getting a car, it's a great car for first time car. However, it's gonna cost you a lot of money to run and also you won't look the nicest. So no girls or lads are gonna be like, yeah, I, 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 I want that. <laughs> the average insurance price is gonna be, and this is crazy, at least 2,000 pounds to 2,600. Over in England, it's gonna be at least 2,000, regardless, because it's such a new model. And over here is 2,600, which is a bit crazy. Um, depends what year you get it though as well, because there is some young, uh, earlier models that might be a wee bit cheaper, but it really depends. So coming at number one is the VW Up. I'm not biased, maybe I'm wee bit, but this is my car. Um, it isn't the nicest looking car for your first car, you probably want something that has those racing stripes, but it's, it, it does the job. It's probably one of the best for insurance as well, it's, an, it's insurance group one. Um, so second hand, you can get for at least 1900, which is a bit of a stretch as well, but that is with 40,000 miles, which is insane. 
I got my car for 2100 with 34,000 on it, which will do me for like two, three years and not even reach 90,000. 90, so it's really good. Um, BHP is 60, which isn't great, um, but it gets me around and you can take those corners with some speed, with some traction as well, so it's quite good. Uh, miles per hour is sadly 90 to 105, depending on what year model you get. The GTI model obviously is going to, uh, I think goes up to 105 to 115 roughly, um, but yeah, standard 90 miles per hour, uh, which isn't great, but who cares. Uh, 0 to 60 in 13.4 seconds, it is on par with the standard Fiat 500. Um, I heard that the Volkswagen Up GTI goes 10.7 seconds, which is somewhat online with the souped up Fiat 500 so it's not too bad but can be better now insurance my insurance cost me 1670 in Northern Ireland which is flipping brilliant over here I don't know why over here is more expensive but it is it is way better over here I went with Hughes insurance uh, they're fantastic I was at 1800 I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for that. O over their phone, she got me down to 1670 for some reason, and I'm just like, perfect. And the next year, I'll probably drop down to 1000 you know, so something like that is great. So, it come from at least 1600 to 2400 depending on where you are, uh, and what insurance group you go for, so it's probably the best car for that. Um, Comfort wise, it's very good for a city car. Um, my experience driving it, it's very clean. It's very easy to learn in, very precise. Um, I might sound biased here, but it is my first car and it's a dream to drive. So definitely guys, uh, that's the list so far. Um, if you guys want an extended list, please tell me in the comment section if you want anything else, but I'm gonna keep on pumping out more car videos. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe, even if you are new. That will be absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, uh, very appreciated. Another thing is, if you guys want more car videos, uh, leave a like as well. Um, I wanna, let's get this video to 10 likes. Um, that is a bit of a stretch for my usual like goal, but it is gonna be fantastic if you get 10 likes. Thank you very much. Um, another thing as well, um, if you have any social media platforms, even just share it once and leave it will be fantastic. Um, at least it'll reach one more person. Uh, you can guys, even though I'm uh, at the moment making as much content as possible, and I try to stick to schedule, but most people don't like uh, like two videos a week they think maybe it's too much or you can't be bothered watching it um, I'm gonna go back to one video a week now um, just so there's a there's a view gap there YouTube weird has worked like that so th thank you very much it's been Primex Plays see you later